one of my regular viewers, Mark Wilkins, mentioned these free Wave DSP plugins to me, so I thought I would check them out and share them with you. But first, this video is sponsored by DistroKid. Get your music that you work so hard to create into all of the biggest online music stores like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Tidal, even on YouTube, where you can get some of that sweet ad money. And the best part is, DistroKid gives you 100% of the royalties that you earn. So now let's check out the free plugins included with the Wave DSP Magic Suite, and we'll start with the Magic 2A. This is a simple LA-2A style compressor plugin. You can see it has your typical LA-2A controls. You have your gain, your peak reduction, and then there's this emphasis screw over here that you can adjust. And one of the cool things that they've added to this is A and B testing. So you can click on A, and then dial in your settings, then click on B and we'll adjust some things here. And we could go back and forth between our two settings to see what we like best. So that's kind of a neat thing that they've added on there. Now, one quirk that I noticed while using this in traction waveform is that it kind of freezes all of the animations that are going on on the screen. So things like the meters kind of freeze and even the cursor kind of freezes on screen. You can still hear the music, everything plays back fine. It's just the animation graphics sort of freeze. But I did test this plugin out in Cakewalk and those issues weren't there. It's only in Traction Waveform that I experienced it. I'm sure it's just some little bug. Now the WD Magic 2A sounds great. Let's check it out. Yeah, it sounds great on this drum bus and I just quickly kind of dialed in some settings there. Now let's check out the WD Magic 76 plugin. And this is their take on the classic 1176 FET compressor. They even give you the ability to switch between the black and the bluey version. So that's pretty cool right there. You have your typical 1176 controls in here, your input, output, attack, release, and then your ratio settings over here. But one thing they added was a two ratio. So with a typical 1176, the lowest you can go is a four, but they've added a two in there, which is kind of a nice addition right there. You also have your all buttons in mode by clicking up there. If you really want to squash your drums or anything else you want to put this on. And you can see down here, they've also added that AB testing feature and they've included a dry wet mix knob, which is really nice. So let's check it out on a bass track right now. All right, now I'm going to just put it on that drum bus so we can hear it on there as well. All right, not a bad free 1176 plugin right there. The next free Wave DSP plugin is Magic EQ. But before we get into that, I just want to talk about DistroKid quickly. Like I said earlier, you, they get your music into all of the major online music stores like Spotify, iTunes, all of those music stores, and you keep 100% of the royalties. But they also give you tools to help 
promote your music and get your music into more ears. You can create these free little mini videos with your music. It's quick and easy to do. They also give you these cool little promo cards that you can use to promote your music. This gives you a lot of content that you can share on your social media sites and get more eyeballs on your band and your music so you can get your music into more ears. And these features plus more are all included with your DistroKid membership, which starts at just $20 a year, but if you use the link down in the description, you'll save 7% on that. So use that link, save some money, and release your music so you can make some money off of your music with DistroKid. Now let's get back into the plugins with the Magic EQ. And this is a really nice four band EQ, plus it also has high pass and low pass filters on it, but it's very easy to use. You have your frequency control, so you can choose what frequency you want to adjust. Then you can adjust the cue of that frequency and the gain amount that you want to take away or increase. And you can do that for all four of your frequencies. It's a pretty straightforward EQ, but it sounds great. Let's just Check it out quickly here. All right, so that wasn't really a serious EQing session. It's just to show how the controls work for that. Now let's look at the next free Wave DSP plugin, which is the Magic Reverb. And this gives you some nice control out of your reverb sound. You have pre-delay, then you have post high pass and post low pass filters. You get your room size and damping controls, modulation controls, plus a three band equalizer over here. So you can really control that reverb sound. You have a dry wet mix knob, so you can use this as an insert effect or on a bus if you want. And it even has about five or six presets in here to help get you started. Plus that A and B testing feature, which is really nice. So let's just give this a try quickly. So there you go, that's your magic reverb right there. Now before we get into that free plugin in the Analog Creator series, let's have a look at the final plugin in the Magic series, which is Magic Tilt. And this is an extremely straightforward tilt EQ. You choose whatever frequency you want to be the center frequency, and then you can tilt it this way or that way. So tilt it to the left and you're going to increase some of the lows and decrease some of the highs. And if you tilt it to the right, you're going to increase some of the highs and decrease some of the lows. It's very straightforward and simple. It's a clean sounding tilt EQ, which might be my only complaint about it is it doesn't really add too much color or anything to your track. It's very clean. Now let's just check it out quickly. Very straightforward. Now let's check out that one plugin from the Analog Creator series, which is the 1X73. Now this one is based on the classic 1073 mic preamp. It can warm up your tracks and add some analog character to them. The controls that you have here are your input trim, so you can increase the input and then decrease the output with this knob here to really warm up your tracks. And you also have this analog color to add as much color as you want. Plus you have this analog switch right here that turns on even more analog sound for you. Then down here, there's this analog core and that just kind of 
adds some noise to your track if you really want to get that classic analog sound with some noise in there. Let's just check that out. You can hear there's that kind of hiss sound there. And one thing I really like about this plugin is it shows you the in and out meters. So it helps to gain match if you're looking to do that. But let's check this plugin out and see what it can add. I find that it makes your track sound a little more full. So let's hear that. Not too bad sounding right there. And you could put this on pretty much any track in your mix and really get some of that analog character in there if you want to kind of go for that old school sound. I really like this plugin. It's well worth the download for sure. Now, if you like these plugins and you want to download them, it might seem a little weird or confusing on their website on how you go about doing that. So I'll show you how you can grab these right now. And it kind of makes you think that you might need an eye lock if you start reading around in here, but you don't actually need an eye lock for these free plugins, not as of the time of recording this anyway. So you can see here, you have the demo. This one comes in that Magic Suite bundle, but it's a paid plugin for $20 and it's probably really good. I didn't try it out yet, but you could demo it if you want. And if we look here, you can see all of these have a download button and you can click on download for any of these free plugins because everything's all included in a single download anyway. So it doesn't matter which one you click on. Then it brings you to this download page where you can also download that analog creator series bundle right here. Now keep in mind, this downloads all of the paid plugins and the free plugins in each of these bundles. You can't pick and choose which ones you install. So what you want to do is just download the version that works on your computer. It could be for Mac or Windows. Don't really worry about the cloud or direct. That's just more of where the file is located in the cloud or directly on the site. So if one isn't working, you can try the other one. Then once you download whatever bundle it is you're going to get, could be both of them, you want to extract the zip files so you have the installers and you can run the installer for each of them. And it's very straightforward. They don't even allow you to select what folders you want to install the plugins to. It installs them automatically to set folders, which we're going to look at because unless you bought or want to demo those paid plugins, you're going to want to remove them from those folders or else you'll get an annoying iLock activation notification every time your DAW searches for plugins. So let's look at where it's going to install these plugins so you can remove the ones you don't want or maybe you need to copy and paste the DLLs to a different folder. So on their site, if you click read more, we'll go here, read more, and it shows you the locations that it installs the plugins. So the plugins that you might want to remove if you downloaded the analog creator series are the analog creator ones. This is in my VST three folder. I'll have to go through all of my folders to remove these, but you want to remove all of them except for the one X 73. That's the free plugin. So I'll delete those and now I'll no longer get a pop-up notification that I need to activate with iLock. And then we'll go down to the WD magic ones. And we just want to remove the WD magic vocal. And you'll do that for also your VST plugin folder and your AAX plugin folder. If you have that set up, but on their website, it kind of makes you think that you need an iLock account and the iLock manager to use these. You don't need them for the free plugins. You only need them to demo those 
paid for plugins, or if you want to purchase those paid for plugins, you would need the iLock manager and the iLock account for that. Now I don't have these activated in the iLock manager. So the free plugins do work without activation. Now check out 20 incredible free plugins from Tone Boosters by clicking the video on the screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.